Hello everyone, welcome to this YouTube channel, myself Roslyn and in this video we will see how to create a folder in SharePoint using Power Automate. And these are the three things that we are going to cover in this video. First we will see how to create a new folder using the create new folder action. And then we will see how to create a SharePoint folder if it is not exist. And finally we will see how to create it using REST API. So let's begin. Initially log into the Power Automate flow and expand this new flow option and choose the instant cloud flow here and enter the flow name and choose the trigger as manually trigger a flow and click on this create option here you can see the trigger action has been added expand it choose add an input and select the text data type here rename it as a folder name so that user will enter the folder name now click new step and search for SharePoint here and search for create a folder here you can see create new folder action is presented choose this create new folder action and he, here we have to provide the SharePoint site address in my case this is the SharePoint site and this is my document library so here I am going to choose my site address for automate development and in the list or library, I am going to choose the documents. By default, the folder will be generated in the shared documents. So we can directly pass the dynamic value of the folder name here. Search for the folder name and click on the save button here. Now choose test option. Click manually and click save and test option here. It is asking for sign in permission. Click continue here and we have to enter the folder name. In my case, I am going to give us a test folder here and choose run flow and click done here you can see our flow run successfully now go back to the shared documents library refresh this page and here you can see the new folder has been created few seconds ago this is how to create a new folder using create new folder action in power automate Next, we will see how to create a SharePoint folder if it is not exist. Now here click on this edit option and remove this create new folder. Now I will show you another example. We have created only the folder if it is not presented in our SharePoint library. So now we will see how to create the flow and here we will get the folder name from the user. After that we will get the file properties to get path from the shared documents. Here you can see I am going to give the site address as product automate development and library name as documents and here I am going to filter it only when the content type is equal to folder. So it filters only the folder items that are presented in the document library and then we will initialize a variable and use it later in our flow. Here I am going to initialize a variable is folder exist which is of boolean type so here i am going to pass the expression as false now we will add apply to each control to loop through all the folder items that are presented in the document library for that choose the apply to each control and here pass the values from the dynamic content so that it loops through all the items and then we will add a condition here if the name is equal to the folder name that we are passing so search for name in the dynamic content is equal to the folder name that we are passing manually if it is yes then we will set the variable as true from the drop down you can choose the initialized variable and pass the value as true and click on the ok button so here it loops through all the folders that are presented in the document library and it checks if the name presented in this document library is equal to the folder name that we are passing manually so if no we will not do anything after that we will add new step and we will check another condition if the variable is equal to false then we will create a new folder using the create new folder action here you can see if it is false then we will create a new folder in the document library select the create new folder action configure the SharePoint site address and choose the document library here and here pass the folder name now we will save our flow here you can see our flow is ready to go and it recommend us to test it now click on this test option and choose manually then click test first case we will pass the same folder name here I am going to pass the test folder as my folder name so it should not create new folder with the same name in our SharePoint document library 
So once I pass the same name, click run flow here and click done. Here you can see our flow ran successfully. Manually gets the input from the user and by default we are setting the boolean value as false and it loops through all the items, six items that are presented in the chapter document library. Here you can see it loops through all the items and it sets the value as true and here you can see the expression is false and it is not creating any new folder in the document library. If you refresh this page also you can't see the test folder is created just because with the same name the folder is already exists so it is not creating using power automate flow now we will test the case 2 and we will pass another input value as test documents here you can see with the test documents name there is no folder presented so i am passing this test document name here after that click on the run flow option our flow is running here you can see our flow ran successfully in the same way it loops through all the items six items that are presented in our chapter document library and here you can see it, it doesn't set any variable here and here you can see it creates new folder in our SharePoint document library. Now go to the SharePoint document library. Here you can see the text test document folder has been created. So this is how to create a folder if it does not exist in the SharePoint document library using Power Automate flow. And finally we will see how to create a new folder using REST API. In the same way manually here we are getting the folder name and after that we are getting the file properties. Based on that we will use the select data operation to get the path. Choose the select data operation. In the from section pass the values from dynamic content value. And in the map select switch map to text mode and pass the folder path here. Now add new step and add a compose data operation and rename it as path and here you can see based on the output of the select data operation get the first value path to send an HTTP request. So add new step and select send an HTTP request to SharePoint and configure the SharePoint site address and choose the method as post method here and pass the URI for the folders. Now in the header, pass the header values like this except application JSON and for the content type also pass the values here. Now in the body section, enter the request content in JSON format. So here you can see the metadata type is sp folder, sp dot folder, and in the server related URL, pass the path output and also the folder name here. Close the string value here and close the JSON format and click on the save option. So now we will test. So here I am going to give the folder name as test folder rest api this is my folder name and click on the run flow option here click done here you can see our flow ran successfully and also it creates new folder in our sharepoint document library using the rest api with this we came to the end of this video where we have learned how to create a new folder using create new folder action and then we saw how to create a new folder in sharepoint document library if it is not exist and finally we saw how to create a new folder using rest api in power automate flow. Thanks for watching this video and these are the free video tutorials that are presented in our YouTube channel. Please check it out and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you.